It didn't make the noise. Anyways, uh, <laughs> what is up guys, NA4 here and welcome back to the channel. And today, it's a very special day and a very exciting day because it's my birthday, the day I was brought onto this planet, the day I was born, the day I was destined for greatness, okay? And I figured, why not do a Q&A video today, all right? I asked you guys to ask me some questions and you did, so I'm gonna look at them, respond to them. Um, a good old-fashioned Q&A, um, why not? Um, so hopefully you guys ask some good questions, nothing too outrageous. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, let's see what you guys got for me today. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, I appreciate that, you know? And, and I, I love that, you know? Cause some years, birthdays are very exciting, others they're just very underwhelming, so. We're off to a good start so far. Thank you very much. You and the corny jokes, bro. Look, there's nothing wrong with some, you know, dad jokes, some puns, um, whatever you want to call them. They're good, okay, I like them. And I actually got a trophy for it, which is actually right behind me. I'm glad you said something. The, uh, the king of dad jokes. Uh, <laughs> it might show in reverse on the camera, I'm not too sure, but um, I earned it, I deserve it. Very prized possession. Um, how much does a chimney cost? Ah, nothing. It's on the house. <laughs> Get it? Cause it's, it's. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Um, I don't know. I Honestly, I get lots of praise on my personality. So I, I like that a lot. Um, my personality, my smile and my height. I think those three are like my um, my top three, the three that I get the most um, appreciation from, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, height, personality, and my smile. Sure, I'll go with that. What's your most embarrassing story? I have a lot of embarrassing stories, unfortunately, <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna go with the one that, the first one that just came to my mind was um, when I was a youngster, okay? I was young, I was young. So I was eating a, um, tamale and I you know I'm, I'm already like aware of like quesadillas and burritos and tacos but I've never actually had a tamale at the time so I kind of just ate it straight up and I remember thinking like wow this is disgusting like people actually eat this this is gross <laughs> and I remember I was telling my friend once she's a Latina um, and she's like oh well did you um, take off the uh, the corn husk? Or like, did you unwrap it? I'm like, huh? And she just like laughs in my face. She thought it was like the funniest thing ever. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen someone so red or like laugh that hard before. So like, yeah, I, I, I did not know that you were supposed to unwrap a tamale before you ate it. So yeah, very embarrassing story for me. A rare Norman L. How long does it take you to make your videos? It depends on what the video is. So like a video like this will probably take me, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half to like um, record and edit. Um, whereas like a movie review would take me like 20 minutes. A ranking video, probably like an hour. A gaming video, an hour or two. Um, it, it, it really just depends on what I'm recording, honestly. Favorite Taylor album. Um, if you know me, I love Taylor Swift. She's great. Um, but you gotta watch the video. I'll link it. I will link it. Go watch that video and you will have your answer. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna advertise myself because that video, I don't know if it's at 1K yet, but it's close to reaching 1K. So go ahead and watch that video and you will find your answer. What's your favorite cuss word? <laughs> um, so, yeah. What's your favorite curse word? Probably fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with bitch. I think it's just something very satisfying about just calling somebody a bitch. <laughs> like it's so disrespectful, but funny at the same time. So yeah, it, it's just something very, <laughs> very funny to me about just calling somebody a bitch. What's something that everyone in, oh wait, sorry. What's something that everyone hates, but you like? Sorry, I'm not wearing glasses or contacts. So like it, it's bad, it's bad. But um, something that everyone hates that I like that I can think of is probably carrot cake, man. I, I like carrot cake. I think it's very underrated, underappreciated. Um, is it the top cake option out there? No, 
but I feel like just nobody likes it. No one I know likes it. And it's, it's just underrated, man. It's so good. What do you look for in a girl? Um, before I even answer that question, let me just say, cause I, I gotta tread carefully. Uh, <laughs> I love all women. All women are great. All women are queens, okay? But in my humble opinion, just personal preference, um, what I look for in a girl is just someone with personality. I'm really into like a dorky, I guess, I, I guess tomboy might be the phrase. <laughs> but I mean, like, I, I like a girl that can like, um, you know, go to an arcade and have a good time. Um, they want to go like bowling, go-kart racing, roller skating, go out, have a good time. Um, I'm also like a, I, I like, like that romantic feel as well. So like, I'm a, I'm huge on like cuddling and doing like cute stuff. So honestly, if you can just match my energy, then we're cool. I'm having a good time. Would you rather be deaf or blind? Neither. <laughs> uh, I guess if I had to choose for content reasons, I would rather be deaf. Um, I'm sure they have like hearing aids that might help. I think it's like if you're hard of hearing, I don't know. But I can also learn sign language. I've always actually wanted to learn anyways. Um, so yeah, probably deaf. Just the idea of being blind, like not being able to see anything, that, that just upsets me, dude. That sucks. So I'd rather be deaf. Finish Spider-Man 2. I'm working on it. I have some videos recorded, but I'm editing them. Um, it, the, the game is just very long, so you have to work with me. <laughs> I'm working on it like practically as we speak, okay? After this video comes out, it might be that one, it might be something else, but I will finish the game. Every time I watch your stories, you're doing something fun, we gotta hang. I'm always down for a good time, man. Like you said, every time you watch my story, I'm doing something. Uh, <laughs> Because man, you only have one life, okay? And I wanna live my life to the fullest. Um, and if you ask me like, what's like my biggest fear? It's probably living with regret. Cause I don't wanna get like to an age where I'm like, damn, like I wish I would have done that. Dang, I wish I would have asked that person out. Man, I wish I would have gone on that trip with him. You know, so like I'm doing my best. Like even though I work a lot, I still have time to do things like YouTube and go out and have fun you know like that's important man you only have one life so live it to the fullest man go out go meet new people take risk you know just live your life do you get paid for your youtube vids not yet not yet i'm very close um i do get ads though i get ad revenue but um i don't get paid just yet you have to have a certain amount of subscribers and watch hours so people actually have to like watch your videos and subscribe so Whenever you hear like YouTubers say, hey, make sure you drop a like, share and subscribe. Like, yeah, it sounds repetitive, but it helps out tremendously. So I'm almost there, I'm so close. So hopefully we can get to that this year. Dream job. Um, honestly, this right here, just content creation. Um, I know that might seem far-fetched, but um, if you would have asked me like three years ago, would I have done a YouTube channel? I probably would have said, eh, I don't know. And now I'm at a point where like I'm getting thousands of views, thousands of uh, you know comments and likes and stuff like that. So definitely this, man, I enjoy this. I don't wanna work a dead end job for the rest of my life. So doing this, if I can ride it until the wheels fall off, I'd be happy with that. What's it like working at a hospital? Um, it's not for everyone, not gonna lie. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was, but like if you were working the position I was, your feet are gonna be on a thousand by the time your shift is over. Like, honestly, not even like that. It's gonna be like, your feet are gonna be in so much pain like halfway through the shift. And you will have to deal with like newborn babies. Like I had to like handle a few like newborns that I'm like, dude, you were just born like an hour ago. Like, that's crazy. Like they trust you with their lives. And you have to deal with like um, deceased patients as well. So like during the body bags, you gotta take care of that. So it's not for everyone. I enjoyed it for what it was as crazy as that sounds um and i i you know i'd work in a hospital again but it, it's not for everyone it's a little nerve-wracking but once you get used to it i think it's 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 a tolerable job girlfriend or boyfriend um <laughs> i'm going to keep my um love life just private not secret but private um i'm not gonna get caught slipping I'm not gonna say anything stupid. I'm just gonna say, just, just private, just private. <laughs> you always seem so happy. 
Um, I just, I just, I literally just realized like some of these aren't even questions, <laughs> but um, um, I, I try to be happy. I try to keep like a positive vibe, positive energy, because um, people feed off of that, you know. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm always happy. Like there are certain days I'm just like super depressed. I'm so like mentally like drained that I'm just like I, I can't today. Like even like in preparation for this video, I was very hesitant. I was very like um just reluctant to even start. Like right now I'm like very drained. I work today and I'm, I'm, I'm really tired, but for the cameras, for you guys, I will, I'm gonna do this for you guys. But I, I'd say I'm happy like a good 70% of the time, sure. Favorite movie of 2023? Ooh, that's a very good question. There was a lot of good movies. Um, Creed 3 was a really good movie. Um, I enjoyed that when I saw it. Um, Scream 6, good time. Um, Barbie and Oppenheimer, Barbenheimer, if you will. I wanted to see both back to back, so that was a really fun experience. Uh, Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, part one. It's definitely up there as well. So I'd say like all of those movies are like my, my top ones. And it also helps that I went to see those movies with people. So um, they hold like a memory for me and I keep all like my ticket stubs. So like they hold those memories for me. So yeah, I'd say those are my favorites. Uh, Cartoon Network or Nickelodeon? Um, <laughs> I, I I can't even answer that, man. I can't. I, I can't do it. I, I'm going to say half and half, 50-50. I wouldn't feel comfortable answering that question, okay? They both have just peak shows for different reasons. So I, I, I really can't. I, I genuinely can't. I hate to be that guy. You know, like I know you're looking for a definitive answer. And I, I simply can't give it to you, so I'm sorry. <laughs> both. We'll go with both. Um, but that's going to wrap this one up. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on it. Share it. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you all for all the birthday wishes. I truly appreciate it. You're all fantastic. Love you tons. But yeah, man, I'm in A4 and I am out. Peace.